she fulfilled me. She was, she was a great mother. Um, we had no problems. We had a great marriage. She used to tell me every day, till death was apart. Love you so much. You're the best. We're just a great unit. On my birthday, Vic tells me she's organised a surprise party. During the night, we danced. Um, Vicky kept give, giving me drinks. She was trying to get me drunk. Yeah, we're walking back to the car and noticed there was a, um, a gentleman just crouching behind the car. Um, it was very dark. And um, I asked Vicky, I said, is he breaking into the car? She, with no hesitation, she said, no, it's the car behind. So um, we're walking by and I'm just looking at this character. And as soon as we, you know, we walk past, he pulled me by my leather jacket and he cut my throat. And, um, yeah, I, I was just, I yelled, I said, what's going on? I yelled out, what's going on? And I was yelling out to Vicky, run, just run. And, and then I felt the blood run down my, my chest and I swung a few punches and fortunately I hit him in the face and he dropped the knife. And um, yeah, I was started losing conscious, and I'm just looking out for Vicky. I I remember s just seeing, and and I think it was Vicky. I'm not 100% sure, but just a shadow of someone just standing there watching, and, and I'm just reaching out for her, and I'm saying, "Run, run!" and and I thought I got I got marked because you know someone wanted our jewellery or my gold watch or you know and then I just fell on the on the footpath against the fence and I felt I felt more stab wounds just yeah and. Um, Thirteen days later, I I see Vicky. I wake up and I see my family and my mother and my brother and and my kids. She kept saying, "You're going to be fine. I love you." and just felt her tears yeah. touching my face and <laughs> you know, the second day I woke up I was advised that it was Vicky and her lover that conspired to kill me. <laughs> I was gutted, I was I was trying to rip off the um the drips <laughs> off me. I was just, I just wanted to end my life. I was just in a state of shock for, for days. You know, when they say love is blind, <laughs> it's so true. I just, you know, I adored Vicky and my kids and I could never imagine she wanted to hurt me that much.